I just realized on my dish toss, I just put in the washing machine. So this is gonna have to wait till the, the third try.
toast, 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 toast. Do yourself a favor, don't buy this tart, plump and juicy lip plumper thing because by the third use it's not gonna fucking come out. Good morning everyone. Sorry for the echo. Actually, I think this will make it better. Good morning everyone. I do not feel like taking a shower today, so I'm going to try my best to pull these babies back down even with my colic. I don't know what I'm doing today. I know I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree again because I need to get some Listerine and I need to get dishwashing gloves because my hands are so chapped anymore. Maybe go to Walmart. We'll see where the day takes us. I didn't realize one of them was more oranger. It's a lot more oranger on, in real life. But we'll see how it looks at night. Here's another little haul of what I got over the weekend. Not that I got anything crazy, but we went to a garage sale. And this lady was selling some succulents. So I got this pot. I'm gonna put in the window. Dog pot, and I'm gonna put this on my shelf. I also got more mouthwash. I had to stop because they didn't have it at the dollar store. Because I honestly I thought they would because they carry crest and stuff, but apparently they don't. So I got this flavor. Last time I had the green one, but I'm not a fan of like sweet mint. I like menthol mint, and even though you're not supposed to use Listerine that has alcohol, does this have alcohol? It doesn't say anti alcohol, but it doesn't doesn't say um i got the double a batteries that you saw me struggle with <laughs> and i got them from the dollar store so we'll see how long those last i got these really cool pair of pants and actually my mom said that she used to have them when she was in high school and i was like oh yeah these styles are coming back now but they're so cute and i have a jacket that i would like to wear with them pop of color uh, i got this at the thrift store like back in 2019 one of my favorite jackets also clearance $9.50 I don't know if anybody else out there is like this but in order to like justify clothes for me whatever the dollar amount is in my head I have to be able to wear it that many times nine times ten times easily easily now that it's getting colder out too plus I think these will look good with really good with my Doc Martens I think next week or this weekend actually I'm going to take my 
suitcase that I have up in my closet and I'm going to change out my wardrobe finally because the end of this week it's going to be like highs of 60s and it seems like the following week it's going to only stay at the 70s so I think now is a good time to change out my fall clothes or change my wardrobe and bring in my fall clothes that way I can start wearing that and I did not I haven't brought my Docs on, my Doc Martens on campus. I ended up getting a blister the other day, actually, when I was wearing them in my heel. Because they kind of, they don't have the half size, which is unfortunate. So I kind of end up slipping. But I put in half insoles into the front. And I put those, like, grippers that go in the back of my shoe, on the back of my shoe. <laughs> I don't know what else I should do. If I should get, like, those heel grips that are silicone, but they go over your heel. Back to the hole. I did stop in at... Um, TJ Maxx. I am completely out of my moisturizer and the moisturizer that I think I want to get is from Mary and May which is like one of my favorite brands uh, for like clean beauty and everything. I, I have a birthday coming soon so I was just like I'll just wait to buy it so then I just went and, and bought this. It's from It's Skin. I know collagen doesn't really do anything when it's in this form I really just needed, I just needed a moisturizer because I basically have maybe like a day and not even the full day. I think I just have a morning. And then, very grateful, my mother bought me Fenty Beauty's eyeliner felt tip. Mainly because I have been using mine for the past nine months. So she finally was just kind of like, so I'll just get you one. And I really love Fenty's products. And if you have hooded eyes, this is like a great tip. We'll also let you know how well this stay, or how well this stays. Like I know I used to use Kat Von D's eyeliner, but it, it dries out very quickly and it just wasn't like worth it for the price point in my opinion. Also to let you know, last week, the Laneige uh, toner, Muck Skin, something like that. I absolutely love that. That has been like a game changer because uh, I have been having such dry skin to the point where my face would hurt getting out of the shower or washing my face. And that's just because like everything is so highly chlorinated here, which is understandable. But I was just like, I can't keep doing this because it, it physically was really starting to hurt. Where was I going? Oh, and then the Tony Moly cleanser. I really like that too. I will say I've noticed compared to the CeraVe one that I used, like my skin feels drier after I wash it off. I will say I will probably only use that at night because of that. at night I heavily moisturize compared to during the day. And then my aunt ended up giving my mom some blushes or my great aunt ended up giving my mom some blushes and some other things i think it was just kind of like a little kit so these were two of the blushes i really like both of them and i've never had a baby pink work for me but this works for me so it was quite interesting to see uh, i put some on right now that's this the shade is sheer amores amores like um amor rose but together amores and then this shade. This one is called Shimmer Mocha Havana. So easier to pronounce. I look a little crazy because obviously this is the only makeup I can have on. And then I just brought this from home. Basically Tuesday, I have to direct a live TV show for three minutes, which is so nerve wracking because it's like, there's so much that needs to be done for this. I'm sure you'll like see me tomorrow going through it. Not going through it, but like going through what I need to say. And so my TV show is based on nostalgia. So I brought I brought from home a lot of nostalgic things. And I just wanted to share them with you because honestly, they make me feel really good. And like, oh my God, I can't believe it. First up, I have the stand and the Wii. I think, oh shit, I think, I don't know if there's a game in here. I know you're not like supposed to lift things up when there's games in I hope not. I have the Wii though, so this is gonna be like the centerpiece. Sorry, let me explain this. These are gonna be sitting on the middle of the table as like a prop piece for like some fun conversation. I have my Game Boy Advance. Oh, so cool. I took the batteries out, obviously. If you want to avoid corrosion, battery corrosion, take them out. Otherwise you're screwed. I was thinking about bringing the little light that attaches with it, but I don't wanna like damage my old video game stuff. We have my little pony. Rainbow Dash, oh my god. Rainbow Dash is my favorite pony. 
I don't know why. And honestly, if I was a kid now, Rainbow Dash would still be my favorite because I loved, I loved like gothic and emo stuff when I was a kid. But funny story is never find Rainbow Dash quite literally anywhere. And my best friend gave me this. Do you know how crazy that is as a kid? I about flipped it when she was, they were like, oh, we found her. We found Rainbow Dash. So. She has been with me ever since I brought. It's very dirty yet. I was trying to clean it off. With a webkin, this frog is so iconic. I think about every every kid that I knew had the frog or their sibling had the frog. So I think this is just visually very easy to recognize. And then the final things, uh, these were my favorite toys as a kid. I have so many of these in a, in a bin. Littlest pet shop. I know they have changed significantly since I've been a kid and they look bad. Not as good, I will say. Uh, so I brought a couple that aren't my favorite, but I think are very recognizable. So I have Raccoon, that was always the doctor when I played. The Chad Wolf, the jock and the bad boy or whatever. I brought a cat. The cats were always the preppy ones when I played. This little ladybug. I have never seen anybody else mention Littlest Pet Shop like bug especially the ladybug because they're like a smaller one and i think from like the magnet because it's pink yet it's like one of the earlier ones but i've never seen anybody else talk about like having this one of course this lizard i think this one also was like could do something i think if you got it cold enough its spots went away and then i brought another bug one because she's so adorable. So I'm just gonna have these all propped up on the table. I think that's about it. Uh, so now I'm going to do some homework. I'm gonna do some reading, memorizing, some writing. Pretty much it for the night. It feels like every day I find a new room to study in. Like I did not know this existed. And it's nice and quiet. And you can look at the Hershey Kiss building. Ready fade out music, ready to a key. Fade out music, take to a key. Ready fade out music, ready fade out key. Ready open mic, ready cue talent, ready one. Fade out music, fade out key, open mic, cue talent, take one. Ready one, take one. Ready two with key, ready fade out music, ready close mics. Take two with key, fade out music, close mics. Ready, fa ready fade sound and picture out, fade sound and picture out. <sighs> Sale-ish. I've not had pizza in forever. Like literally the last time I ate pizza, I think I had it been like like six weeks ago, which sounds like ha ha kind of funny. But it is one of those feel-good foods. And you know what? After being so stressed out today, I would like pizza. <laughs> I don't know if I want to necessarily put this directly on the community stove rack, because that's just like asking for it for something. So I am gonna put it on the baking sheet. But, mm, I'm gonna put the baking sheet in the oven first, and then the baking sheet will get hot too. That way the bottom can be crispy. Directing ended up going pretty well today. I don't think I messed up that much. Like I won't really know until I get to look back at what I did, <laughs> if I did well or not. The only thing I forgot was that I wanted to fade in to with Key, but thankfully one of the assistants, I think he's also a professor, ended up helping. I was like, no, you need to, like, if you want this, then you should probably put this. And only a few times, like, did I chase a conversation, which I didn't really mean to, but like, I ended up like reading a camera that I didn't want to use. And so then I ended up chasing the conversation because I wanted to do a different camera, which I think maybe is okay. I don't know. Everybody really liked my prop tables. <laughs> that was nice. I was like, good idea you know someone who likes doing set design uh, i felt really accomplished even though somebody asked what a game boy advance was i don't know if maybe they just haven't ever seen one or if they didn't know what it was but it made me feel old um so i'm just gonna wait for this pizza to be done and then i think i'm gonna edit because i've not edited all week and typically i like to spend like i don't know an hour editing each day and i haven't so i'm gonna play catch up today hopefully i can do it quickly <laughs> oh well
All right, I am going to end it here for the week. I just finished editing, so now I have to add the music. So actually, I didn't finish editing, but I think I finished cutting it. Thanks for joining me for the week. If you didn't have a good day today, I hope your day tomorrow will be better. Uh, remember to spread love, peace, and happiness, and I'll see you next week. Bye!